Welcome to the Champ Car Endurance Series Spring Harris Hill 8 and 7 hour endurance race brought to you by TireRack.com, RVA Graphics and Wraps, Frozen Rotors, Bell Racing, the official helmet of Champ Car, Racing Radios, NLA Parts, Lifeline, and UUC Motorworks. Also, I'd like to thank our class sponsors, Discovery Parts, Krispy Kreme, and MoneyShiftRacing.com. Last but not least, the Chandler School. They support the Sportsmanship Award, one of my favorite awards. So we thank the Chandler School for being a part of our racing year this year as well. So I'll jump into loading notes. That's going to be the first difference this year at Harris Hill. Normally we could come in Thursday evening, but they have asked that we wait till 7 a.m. on Friday. So no one can get into the track at Harris Hill until 7 a.m. on Friday. Please do not arrive early. Uh, we will be opening registration and tech at 11 a.m., possibly a little bit sooner, depending on how the parking goes. Um, so we will have plenty of time. Please, no rushing. Don't park in front of the grass in front of the clubhouse. They have some cones there. Don't move the cones. If you see cones, just don't move them. Um, they will come get you most likely one by one to kind of park our paddock area, which is a little bit unique at Harris Hill. So wait till you get somebody from the track to come and park you. Um, so 7 a.m. on Friday, that's when the gates will open. So we will have a driver's meeting at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. on Saturday morning, and I'll, I'll just go over a few things. If the track has some extra things that they want to talk about, we will go over that. Um, after that, drivers in and ready by 8.30 a.m. So 8.30 a.m., we will, I want drivers in, strapped in and ready to go. We'll line you up one by one, and then once we get close enough, we will put you single file behind the pace car. Um, that will be right at 8.45-ish. So <clears throat> keep your eyes up. We'll start calling you guys out of the pit road and we'll line you uh, one by one. So under a full course caution behind pace car at 845, green flag will be at 9 a.m. as close as possible. Uh, we're gonna bring you across start finish. We're checking transponders. We are gonna be set up um, on the bottom side of the paddock, on the left side of the paddock. Um, Andy will be there in a, the SCCA trailer like he was last year um, and he will be doing timing. So we will bring everybody across that start finish. Once he gives me the thumbs up, we will go green flag at 9 a.m. Um, checker will be at 5 a.m. on Saturday and 4 o'clock p.m. on Sunday. Uh, green flag is going to be shown at start only. So if you are in the back of the line, whenever they have those double yellows out during the full course yellow behind pace car, all they will do, they will just take those flags and bring them in. No flag, you are racing. So green flag will only be shown at the start finish line only. Keep that in mind. I'll jump straight into pit road and fueling rules. Everybody that comes into pit lane will have to stop. So pit lane's a little bit different here at Harris Hill but you still will come off track, come up pit road. We will have some marker cones. We want you to be slowed down before you get to those cones. Um, you'll see the stop sign. You'll come to a complete stop. Wait till the timer gets put on your car. Then you can come into the paddock area. Paddock flow is going to be clockwise. You'll come in, you'll go clockwise. You're gonna go slow. I know we say speed limit is 20 miles an hour across the board, but Harris Hill is special. So we're going to ask you to be 10 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour. Do not speed through the paddock just the way that it's set up. If you are fueling, everybody must be head to toe gear. in their fireproof gear. So helmets, gloves, even though you're back in the paddock, we will have pit marshals walking around, making sure that you guys are fueling properly. You need your drip pans, the whole nine yards. Your shoes can be just closed toed leather shoes if you don't want to wear your uh, race shoes. There's a five minute minimum to fuel for fuel stops from pit in to pit out. If you are not fueling, you just need to do what you need, what you do. <laughs> um, and you'll continue to pit out. They'll grab your timer. Everybody must stop at pit out every single time. You grab that timer. They'll see that you have some time left. You say no fuel. We will let you out on track. If you were fueling and you had some time left, please do something in your pit to 
soak up that time. We don't want you clogging out, pet out, especially with how it is at Harris Hill. Um, it can really get bottlenecked in there. So please try not to have that extra time on your timer when you come to pit out. We will hold you there. Obviously, during fuel stops, the first thing, hit that kill switch. Power to the car has to be off. Uh, when the gas cap comes off, that means that you are under fueling rolls. Soon as that gas cap comes off. So make sure that everybody is set and ready whenever you pop that gas cap. <clears throat> One five gallon jug at a time. I know there's not a wall to be lifting jugs over, but we don't want multiple jugs sitting there while you're fueling. Obviously, if something happens, that just can cause a major, major fire. So we do not want that one five gallon fuel jug in your fueling area at a time. Fire bottle, please. This is very important person of your team. They'll be standing seven to 10 feet away. 10 pound ABC fire bottle, Pin pulled, we see that a lot. We'll be coming around, making sure that those pins are pulled while you are standing there, just in case something happens. Fire bottle person is very important. Fire bottle person, that is the only thing you should be doing is just standing there in case something should happen. Mentioned it a little bit, drip pans, got to use those drip pans. These tracks, we really need to take care of this track. All the tracks we really go to, but you know, in the paddock and also on track as well. So. Drip pans, three inches deep, 12 inches in diameter. Clean up your messes and please, overfilling. If you are overfilling, I'm gonna take you right back off track, okay? What happens is when you overfuel, you go out on track, you hit that first corner, there's fuel everywhere. Corner workers do not know that you just came out of the paddock. They didn't. They do not know that you just fueled. So it just get, you get tagged in that first corner and they look for your number all the way around and they're calling you all the way around saying if you are spilling more, um, trying to figure out what you are spilling. So you're tying up those the radios um, whenever you overfuel. So please do not overfill your car. Um, <clears throat> pit out, um, you, you are going to be showing your driver band. You should have a driver band and you are gonna have a blue gear check sticker. They will be looking for the sticker and your driver band every single time at pit out. Whenever you stop, they'll do a quick belt check, a window net check to make sure you are securely in your car. That is your teammates, you know, responsibility to get you strapped in that car, but we'll do a little safety check. Um, and then we'll put you out on track. Okay. So stop every single time, whenever you come in and out of pit road or the paddock area. We do not condone contact. Any contact that is not minor, it will result in both cars being black flagged. Any malicious driving, and I will take your armband. I will take you out of the car and make you sit the rest of the day. Um, we will really be watching that this year. So keep that in mind. If you are, you know, doing anything malicious out there, um, it's not going to last long. So um, overtaking cars responsibility to plan and execute a safe and clean pass. If you are behind somebody and you make the decision that you're gonna step out of line and pass them, it is your responsibility to do it safely. If you are being passed, please hold your line. If that car caught you, they can go around. As soon as you step out to let them by, they could already be there. I've seen bad things happen. So if you're about to be passed, hold your line you know, stay off of each other out there. Let's see here. Uh, we will be doing hot pulls. <clears throat> Give the safety team and crews as much respect as you possibly can out there. No buzzing the fire trucks. You will come in and you will sit a penalty. I do not take this lightly at all. So give them a lot of respect. Give wide bursts whenever you're passing. No passing by coming up to an incident. Um, we will be watching that. So be respectful to our safety crews out there. See driver stints are two hours max. We are watching you and your competitors are too. Uh, two hours max. Once you're done with your two hour stint, you have to sit out of the car an hour before you can get back in. Um, so please, we will be watching that as well. Um, blend line. There is a blend line. Whenever you come out of pit road, it'll be driver's right. Uh, we ask you, do not jump the blend line. People are going to be coming down that front straight. They are, you know, up at speed. So don't come out of pit road and just 
go right up to the right. You're going to abide by that blend line and go right into turn one. So um, keep that in mind. Blend line violations, I will bring you in and you will have a two minute penalty starting. Any recurring, we will climb from there. Um, I'll go over flags a little bit. If you guys aren't familiar with our flags, I encourage you to read up. I will be going over a few other things, like I said, but flags, we go by the line of sight rule. So if you see, if an incident happens and we have a flag, you're coming up to that corner, you see that flag being displayed, you are under that condition. Line of sight rule. Most of the flags that you'll probably see are yellows. Yellow means no passing. If you see a yellow flag, you're automatically dropping your speed. If it's a standing yellow, we're dropping down to 70% race speed. If it is a waving yellow, there's something more going on out there. Keep your eyes up, drop that speed to 50% for waving yellows. You see that flag, no passing. You will pass the incident, pass the station. Whenever you come to the next manned station, not displaying a flag, you are back racing. Um, red flag, that's the one that we hate to see the most. Uh, but I won't hesitate to use it if need be. It just means that something happened out there that's really serious and I need to get my crews or emergency crews out there as soon as possible. So red flag, I ask you to come to a quick controlled stop. Please don't get on your binders and cause other wrecks. I've seen that happen before as well. So red flag, come to a controlled stop, preferably off of the racing line uh, so those trucks can get past you as soon as possible um, in line of sight to a corner station if you can. If not, just keep your eyes up and you know we will put the pace car back out there whenever we go green. So you'll start to see everybody fire back up. But if you can have a line of sight of the corner station for when we go back green or yellow, we'll, so we'll have a red flag incident. If we do, uh, we'll get it cleaned up. Everybody's gonna be standstill. I'll put my pace car in front of the leader. Corner stations will, flip to a double yellow and we will get you guys circulating and then we'll go back green. That's how we will do a restart from red. Um, black flag, that means that you need to report to pit in. Okay, so black flag means that we have some issues with your driving out there um, or that you're doing something that we don't like that we just need to talk to you. So just come on in. We also have a meatball flag, which is a black flag with the orange um, center circle, that means that there's something wrong with your car. So if you have something dragging, um, if you know your rear bumper is about to fly off or this or that, we will give you the meatball flag. That just means that there's something going on with your car. Um, if you have had motor problems or this or that, you know, you're a little bit iffy and you start seeing smoke, I ask you to not limp around the track or to see if you can make it into pit road. Please pull off the track immediately. Um, cleaning up oil, that's our number one, you know, time eater out there. Like I've had people put oil down all the way around the track and it takes hours out of our racing time. So please, please, please be vigilant of that if you're having some issues with your cars out there. All right, Champ Car Live will be there. Um, Bill and Polly, and I think Tiffany will even be tuning in. Um, we'll be covering the show live as much as possible. Um, so please, if you have some family members or you know friends that want to tune in, champcar.live, and we will be covering the race. <clears throat> Again, I want to thank our sponsors, RVA Graphics and Wraps, Frozen Rotors, Bell Racing, Racing Radios, NLA Parts, Lifeline, UUC Motorworks, and our title sponsor, TireRack.com. Uh, thank you for racing with us. We know that you have a lot of different organizations out there. Um, we appreciate you guys being members of this club, guys and gals. Um, so please, let's have a great race weekend. Reach out to me at chelsea.vickery at champcar.org if you have any questions. Thank you. Thank you.